Hey there guys, how you guys doing? Um, welcome to Paradise Pools. Today we are not doing a break. If you want to join our next group break for a fast break, a box of Fast Break Prison, uh, we have two group breaks going on. Uh, check us out on our Instagram or on our Facebook to find more information about those breaks. Today we're doing a card reveal. Um, we will be revealing a handful of cards that I got back from PSA. Uh, shout out to my buddy Jimmy who helped uh, complete this order for me. If you live on Guam and you've never sent something to PSA before and you need someone to look over the cards and kind of give them a grade or whatever, uh, uh, you know, a preliminary grade before you send, him, send them in, he's the perfect guy for it. He's very experienced and knows what he's doing. Uh, so anyway, a little backstory about the, the cards that I sent in and, and why I sent them in. So in 2009, a random year, 15 or 12 years ago or whatnot, I collected some basketball cards. I collected a lot of Tops and Tops Chrome. Um, I actually have some Tops Chrome cards that I did not send uh, in this box. Uh, but anyway, long story short, I put these cards, some random guys named James Harden, Steph Curry, and Blake Griffin, and all these random dudes, I put them in a box and threw them in my uh, closet. Have not looked at those cards for over 10 years. <clears throat> and then earlier in February, uh, someone told me, hey, you know, Ken, uh, basketball cards are on the come up. You should uh, check them out. You should give them a look. So I said, okay, cool. And I checked them out and, and you know, lo and behold, like, that friend was right. You know, like some cards were going crazy. If you can see in this graph, uh, you know, in February, like these Steph PSA 10s were going for like 18K. This is paper, right? A paper rookie it was going for 18K. Right, you know, it dropped, right? We're looking at 14, 15K, but still crazy, crazy numbers. Um, at the same time, James Harden, his PSA 10 was going for 9K, right? right? Almost pushing the 10K mark, right? So right right there, fluctuating about high eights, low nines. So at the time, myself, I was just like, yo, I, I have these cards. I have a few of these cards. Like, I, I got to go and get them graded. Now, you know, obviously I want to get the PSA stamp on them. And at the time, PSA had just doubled their prices. So the question was like, well, do I send it in? At the time, there was still like a uh, lower level, like a bulk level entry. Do I send it in as bulk and wait a very long time? Or do I try to expedite it to get it in, in time for the end of the playoffs? At the time, I thought the Nets and the Warriors were going to make a good run for it. Um, and, you know, I thought, okay, you know, if they make a run, maybe the price would go up. You know, obviously, in hindsight, this was incorrect, right? Like, as you can see by the graph, um, you know, prices have dropped. Uh, maybe this will yeah, show you something a little more uh, helpful if you look at, like, the past 90 days, right? As you can see in the, in the past 90 days, you're looking at this drop here, right? So it went from 18K, you know, down to you know what 10k right breaking the 10k mark and then you know something that went from 8 to 9k has dropped a low as low as 2k um well, you know back up right it's climbing back up to 7k well you know now it's fluctuating at half its price about 4 or 5k for the psa 10s now with the nines right like here's a psa 9 harden it was about 1k 1.5 and now it's you know gone half like you know 700 400 600 you know its value has been cut in half um that that's really telling for me because you know obviously at the time in march when i sent the cards in uh i was working off of the value at that point right um so you know i would send i sent half of my stash in at 150 which is express and i sent half of my stash in at 100 which was regular at the time uh, expecting that you know when they came back if any if these came in as nines I'd be able to recoup my costs and then some but now that we can see PSA 9 is $750 uh, that means I have to move quite a few cards in order to break even on my expense so just to be clear uh, with what I spent here um, I sent, sent two orders, one express, one regular. My express order cost me $1,800, and my regular order cost me $1,200, about, or 1300 
So you're looking at what thirty one hundred dollars, thirty two hundred dollars, give or take, spent on grading the cards, right? So I, I'd still have to move some of them to recoup that. And obviously the hardens were the ones that I was banking on having. Like if I had to spend nines or tens, like the hard, the hardens were the ones I wanted to move because uh, I'd wanted to, you know, obviously Steph has a more uh, uh, concrete career, so it'd be older to hold better to hold those long but that is hindsight hindsight is 2020 sent this order out in march march uh, 16th or something it arrived at psa march 26th uh and i got the express order back today shout out to my boy jimmy helped me out with this um and i'm still pending my regular order hopefully that regular order comes in next month um you know i don't know it, you know it's pretty tough with the back order and or and all that's kind of obviously that's one of the things that everybody hates about psa uh and you know maybe the subjectivity of grading but i don't know all right so here we're gonna go a quick look at the card see what we graded here here's the tops gold james harden this is numbered out of 2009 got a little something there got a seven that's pretty much like you know i might as well just break it out of the slab i feel right a seven is just it doesn't hold enough value um but you know who knows it is a dope card i i think it's actually I mean, I don't know. You know, I got to look at the corners better. Maybe the corners are dinged. They do look a little dinged. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe the card is off-centered. If you look on the back, there is definitely some whitening. A ton of whitening here on the edge. Like, all over the top. It's pretty rough. Uh, but, you know, it's cool. Whatever. PSA 7. There's a card that's not... Uh, tops is an upper deck. Um, I also sent in the Steph in my other order, and this one came back in eight. It's a pretty cool card. It's actually not valued that much, but I thought at the time that I thought this would really hold more value. It didn't. It's okay. Nice card. And here we go. Another Harden. This is a nine. So this came out okay. Pretty nice card. See, the back is a lot cleaner than the other one. Not mad about that. Another nine. You know, should some of these be a ten? I don't know, man. You know, I, 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 I was actually... I don't know. You know, because when Jimmy did send me this, he did tell me nothing would be, would be tens. He said, no card stands out to me as a ten. Like, whether it be centering or corner or whatever or, like... A print line and you know these definitely do have those issues especially with the black uh, back being all black you know those it's very susceptible very vulnerable to those types of uh, critiques on the card but you know these came back as nines there's another nine so just nice cards so four hardened nines out of seven it's not bad it's a PSA 8. <clears throat> the centering on these are kind of rough, right? Another PSA 8. And guess what this one is? Another PSA 8. So four nines, three eights. At least no seven. I mean, we got a, a seven on the gold uh, Harden, which was, you know, that's a that hurts. But, you know, it is what it is. I, you know, I have to rethink my game plan with that if I'm going to break the slab and resubmit or what I'm going to do. Here's a Steph Curry rookie. You know, you hate to see low grades on these. But this, you know, these cards were admittedly in not the best shape. Maybe it has a scratch. I'm not sure. PSC 7. It is a beautiful card, though. Very, very nice card. You know, off-centered, off like, to all hell, but cool card. And an 8.5 near gem mint. I like that. You know, it's so crazy, like, to look at the cards and be like, oh, I wish I got a 9. You know what I mean? Like, like just because, like, a 10 is just impossible for me. You know, these are older cards, you know. Like I said, very vulnerable to a lot of 
criticism and critique on them themselves, especially, you know, since they're old. And here's a nine, final card. So, so this order, uh, one, two, I think we have 12 cards, three, four, I, I don't remember how many cards, but we got five total nines, you know, two sevens, uh, one 8.5, and then three eights, something like that. So I, I, I'm not disappointed. You know, I, I'm a little disappointed, but not that much, simply because of, uh, you know, uh, the, the the state of the cards when I submitted them. Like, the, the, you know, the, I did not deserve to have them gem, right? Like, some of them, they were in a box the whole time, and some of them were sleeved, but they weren't all sleeved, uh, you know. They weren't, you know, they weren't in the greatest care, uh, which is, a, you know, a rule from, for me in the future. Like, if I have rookies, you know, no matter what I think of them, you got to submit, uh, uh, sleeve them and, and take care of them. So just in case they have more value. And here, just to show you a comparison of, of uh, the slab size here. Let me, let me get one of these uh, other cards out for a minute real quick. compare these two cards so here is a James Harden HGA versus the James Harden tops um, the sleeve the, the size of the card like the the HGA slab is considerably bigger um, and it is heavier all in all I do like the HGA slab better in terms of its tactile feel like how it feels in the hand but you know the PSA slab it's just it's just well known it's just solid you know it's not too heavy it feels light but at the same time it doesn't feel fragile you got the hollow it's pretty clean yeah, I don't know and you know I like I said I can't can't be too much of a stickler on the grade uh, you know, maybe if there were subgrades, you know, at least there'd be more to critique and think about. But that's just not an option. Uh, but it's okay. I, I can't wait to get my next order of uh, PSA slabs in. And we'll see that review. And hopefully we do better on that one, right? Hopefully we get some, some tens. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys like this video. And we'll see you next time.